Gentlewoman's time has expired. Gentleman from Pennsylvania Reserves. Gentleman from Maryland is recognized. Mr. Speaker, the United States of America just witnessed, witnessed the most astonishing spectacle. We are here to debate aid to the people of Ukraine defending themselves against a massive invasion by Vladimir Putin and his army. Then the minority puts up the distinguished general lady from Georgia who does not mention Ukraine once. She does not mention the thousands of Ukrainian civilians who've been slaughtered by Putin's army. She does not mention more than 100 Ukrainian children who've been shot and killed by the Ukrainian army. Instead, she talks about a massive invasion at the border, a massive invasion which their own speakers have said today hundreds of thousands of people have been apprehended in. That's very different from a military invasion, the one in Ukraine. Of course, the general lady is not going to talk about that. She had a lot to say the other day when she heckled me continuously. When I came to the floor, it was like the Rocky Horror Picture Show in here with her chanting about the Russia hoax and Russia this and Russia that. Now she had the opportunity to tell the world what her views about Russia are. I put them out there, exactly what she has said. She said that the aid that the taxpayers of America are sending to the people of Ukraine to defend themselves against Vladimir Putin and the Russian army falls into the hands of Nazis. I want to see her proof. Where's her evidence? She talks about NATO Nazis. Does the minority believe that our allies in NATO who are trying to defend the people of Ukraine are Nazis? Has it come to this? General Lady talked about a massive invasion. We had a massive invasion of our own chamber. And she continued to be a cheerleader for the insurrection and deny what happened here. Mr. Speaker, I'd like those words to be taken down. Gentleman from Maryland will be seated.